Hey guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great day. Uh, today, I just wanted to make a quick video about Mega Live. I installed Mega Live on my boat a couple of days ago, and I have been fishing consecutively for the past couple of days. And I wanted to make this quick little video to show you guys my settings on Mega Live, um, in hopes to either give you guys a starting point to start at, or give you guys something to uh, reference to, something you know, some, what someone else is using to help you guys kind of fine tune your settings. So um, I have been playing around with it for a little while. Um, I have found that the settings do vary a fair bit depending on the palette. I personally don't like a lot of fuzz going on in my image, so I cleaned it up a fair bit. Before we get started, I do want to mention I do have um, all my graphs and Mega Live on a separate lithium battery, so um, I have heard that that does clean up the image a fair bit or does make a fair bit of a difference, so I just want to mention that before we get into it. All right, so these here are my settings. I have pinging on, uh, interfere introduction low, no boat icon, and uh, on my starboard side, H A H R S is also on, but that's I didn't change that. That's how it came. Um, as for my actual settings, live pinging I have on, forward mode I'm running the 60 degree cone, 60 degree angle. Sensitivity and contrast are pretty much the only things that have been changing for me the past couple of days. Everything else I've been pretty set on. Con or sensitivity, I'm usually between you know, 14 and 18, depending mostly on uh, the amount of structure or cover that I'm fishing, which kind of correlates with depth. Um, up shallow, I sometimes turn it down just because there is a lot of grass in this lake and I don't really need that sensitivity, but out a little bit deeper, I like to run it pretty high. I get to see bait fish, you know, strands of grass from pretty far. As for contrast, um, I'm running it usually between three and six or seven. Contrast, I feel, just cleans up the image a little bit more. As for dynamic contrast, uh, this varies a fair bit from what I've seen online, at least. Some people like it on, some people don't. There are three settings. There's off, one, and two. Um, I found that this really varies with the palette that you end up going with. I prefer to run two. I just feel like it cleans up my image a fair bit, and uh, it's the way I kind of tuned at least on my other settings. As you guys can see off, that's the grass patch. One, a little bit more splotchy in your face. And two, it's cleaned right up. And then forward range, I have it set at 70. I started off at 55 and I realized that I can actually see fish a lot further. So I, I pretty much sit at 70 or 75 most of the time. And uh, downrange, this is when I wish I had a Solix. Let me turn us out here a little bit. Downward range, I uh, turned it off auto and I set it manually. Um, of course, this varies where you're going to fish. Right now we're about 14 feet, set it to about 16, 15 or 16. Uh, this is when I wish I had the Solix because then the Solix just has a dial, but uh, I, can, I can live without that. <laughs> and for the palette, I prefer 10. I start off at 11, which I also really like. Um, I feel like uh, the big clumps of weed and, and the fish really stand out with that red. But I landed on 10. It's a little bit more vibrant, a little bit easier on my eyes, personally, I found. Um, and I mean, these are all the options. You can kind of have a look. Green's also not bad. Three is also not bad, pretty close to what I'm using for 10. And persistence is something that I have been playing around the past two days. I really like it on when we're fishing deeper water. Um, you can kind of see, you know, the fish moving, which way they're going. It's, it's, it's really cool. I'll keep it on low. This is something that I um, will turn off sometimes when I'm shallow. You guys will see here we're in about 13 feet. It's a lot of grass. The persistence gets to be a lot, um, as you guys can see. But it's something that I've been kind of just leaving on recently. <laughs> um, I've gotten used to it. But when you're fishing deep, suspended fish, it's really, really cool. Uh, range grid, I don't use. And then recording, which I probably should have done for this video, but I didn't. <laughs> As for my transducer, if you point it down, kind of facing downwards, I have it six clicks forward in forward mode there. So yeah, those are my Mega Live settings. Um, I'm going to leave 
uh, this video at that. Um, probably going to make a little first impression video here in the next couple of days or a couple of outings of fishing. I just want to get some more hours on the unit. Um, but yeah, hopefully this gives you guys a starting point or, you know, kind of gives you something to base your settings off of. And if you guys have any questions, let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.